This is just snippet into what would happen when we actually, you know, get to the day, 7 November 2016. Of course, the build-up is exciting and we keep saying that we are the Election Command Centre. We are the specialists, no doubt about it, no competition, absolutely not. And we're continuing on that line. Uh, we have, uh, you know, a head of political desk, uh, also in charge of uh, Constituency Link, Ibrahim Asari from TV3 here. With us, Abraham, good morning to good you. Morning, and also, Ankur, and I personally love the way he pronounces his name, says Stephen Enti. Hi, Stephen uh, Enti, good morning to you, and welcome morning. to the show. Yeah. Good to have you um, join us, and you are producing Eye on the Sea. So let me start with you, Eye on the Sea, and it's very catchy, uh, it grabs you. Yeah. Tell us more about, you know, Eye on the Sea. Why must I? I mean, the, yeah, the title or the, the program name is arresting already yeah i mean yeah. what we're seeking to do is to let every remind everyone that we're all keeping an eye on who goes to the flagstaff house uh, and then who becomes the next parliamentarian so that's the concept of uh, eye on the seat and this is going to be like a panel discussion where we'll bring in people from all backgrounds to discuss pertinent issues specific issues bearing in mind that i mean you all know that when decisions have to be made in election years we need information the audiences who watch us need to get from us the sense that we're preparing them to make choices that are relevant to this country so it is in that vein that we're we're bringing all the critical issues circulating in the public space okay. so that we get to discuss them with uh, critical death with political neutrality and all of that uh, to help our audiences make informed choices and right. decisions right. come November. Okay, thank you. Uh, Abraham as well, I mean earlier you saw our managing news editor, you know, talk about training for our reporters because it's critical to the election. As uh, somebody who heads the political disc, can you give us insight as to what else, you know, our reporters have been exposed to so that people have confidence in the fact that we are the specialists, not just, you know, here, sitting here, but those who we are going to contract from all over the country. Yes, indeed. Um, our, our, our reporters and workers and um, even sound engineers, the cameramen and, and uh, producers and all of, what have you have all been trained and have been training, been trained, the process is ongoing. Okay. But I can tell you that the training is, is so in-depth because um, as our tagline is saying, we are the specialists, we do not want to go out there and make a mistake. So we are training our reporters to know the electoral systems of this country. They know the elect electoral history right from pre-independence time up until now. They know um, what the journalist must do when he or she goes out there to report, you know, what pictures to use on our, you know, and visuals to use on our network and that kind of thing. So um, everybody who takes a camera or a writing note or pad and a pen and, a, uh, and goes out there to report knows what must be reported. And when they come, the visual editors know what um, kind of visual they should use. And the, the producers also know what should, be, should, should, should go to uh, our consumer. So that's how it is. Everybody is being trained and trained to be a professional, to be a specialist. Already we are specialists, but just to improve on what we already know um, based on our track record. You know, to make sure that we deliver okay. what we are here to deliver. All right. So, other political programs that we're going to have on 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 TV three. Now, one that has been very helpful, even to me as a presenter, is Constituency Link because yes. we have plus two seventy five, which is only between the candidate, the aspiring candidates, and one constituency that you know we did a Constituency Link. The persons in the constituents actually, you know, express the concern, what bothers them, and I was yes. able to put it to the the candidates when they came to exactly. the studio to see how else they are going to resolve it. Yes. So, share with us you know more of the programs that we're bringing out including constituency link and the impact yes. the rippling effect that we want to have on well, viewers what we're trying to do is to move away try gradually and move away from waiting for a political party to mount a platform in the community and the candidates come and say i will do this for you i'll do that for you and the, 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 the those are going to vote are unable to ask them questions and say how are you going to do this yes. you know so we are we are embarking on an issue-based campaign or electioneering we want the candidates to listen and to hear what the, the, the voters are saying so when we go to the constituencies we give we, we put the microphone in the uh, you know the cameras to the constituents, the voters, and say, what bothers you? What is it that you want to be done for you? So we go to, let's say, a place like uh, Rio do. We know that that's, that's a boxing, you know. <laughs> know. <laughs> yes, you know, so what do you want to be done for you in, in that regard? Um, fishing, um, uh, education, uh, sanitation. And so the, the, the constituents themselves tell us what they want, what, what bothers them, their roads, you know. Um, we talk about the women issues, women um, who sometimes have lost inheritance because their husbands have passed away. And because of tradition, they are not given any 
inheritance. So these are the things that we try to bring to the fore on constituency link so that the voters, the, the candidates or the politicians will know what, what, what actually the people want. So as they write their, their, their manifestos, they say, I finished, they're going to be uh, launching very soon. Are we going to be seeing these concerns and expectations in, in, yes, in, in those manifestos? Right. And Stephen actually is one of those who um, uh, did the constituency link stories in, yeah. in Abraham yeah. North. No, yes. I went to Medina. Medina, yes. mm. all right. So, right. so Stephen, for you, whether as an anchor, as a producer, what are some of the boxes that you need to tick you know, before you pass, say, this is good to go on air? Right. Um, you do know that election, elections are sensitive. So it is with that kind of sensitivity that we're bringing in our very finest. And we're making sure that we leave no stone unturned, that even in the selection of our, our guest coming on the show, we have a strict criteria. When we are considering political neutrality, it must indeed be political neutrality. We're not looking locally alone. We're looking international, non-governmental organizations, election watchers. So these are things that we're considering to ensure that the final product we put on air in terms of election related programs meets the very highest standards that we've set for ourselves here at election command All center right. so one of the program i know that will be coming on i think every day is 6 30 to 7 uh, p.m key points yes. key points key points sounds like key points yeah. we're taking key points from the key points right yes, of the day so tell uh, viewers more about you know key points what it stands for why key points yes key points will be hosted by winston and your co-host today yes yes and i'm sure winston. that he, yes winston yes <laughs> <laughs> now key points is going to be talking about or uh, discussing the topical issues of the day um it, it's going to be a permanent show on on tv3 sure. and, and other platforms but during this election anything that happens on the day, uh, on any day between now and up to the elections and beyond, Key Point is going to dive into that. And we're going to bring people who know the issues. People, we, we are not too, um, too much concerned about, uh, we're not going to do too much political, so to speak. Okay. But we want to make sure that the issues are properly discussed and understood. You know, so if something happens at 5.30, be sure that at 6.30 it's going to happen. Even if it's happening live, between 6.30 and 7, it's going to be on TV3. Okay. Um, I mean, he talks about, you know, we're not going to be political. But you can't be political, but it's the issue of national interest. You want the people Certainly. to address it with the Certainly. national exactly. uh, at Certainly. the back of their minds, correct? Yes, yes, that's exactly so. Okay, all right. What, what, what is it as a producer, right? I mean, that, that you're, you're producing a, a show like Key Point. Right. He talks about the guests, you know, they should go all the way and be neutral and all of that. But presenter as well, what are some of the things that you do for them? So that our viewers are sure that, yeah, our, pre our presenters are on top of the issue. Yes, we are. Because we have a whole team behind that they don't see. No, our presenters, <laughs> have, the, our presenters have the very rich experience. I mean, Abraham, Bright, myself, all of us have. Yourself. Oh. Yourself. We've all, oh, engaged, no, don't say we've that. all engaged extensively in election coverage. So we know the issues and we know how to report them to reflect the much maturity that our media platforms represent and we're not just going to do the regular discussions we're going to go beyond the regular we're going to look at gender mainstreaming for example sure. if you for example we're talking about manifestos okay. how can the uh, female porter in, in across central engage the manifestos written in English is it relevant that for example we introduce manifestos that people can understand in their local language these are critical questions that come forward every time how are blind people going to appreciate the manifestos that are, are delivered how are uh, physically challenged people going to understand the issues that are presented to them so we are roping in all of these people as as anchors and producers we have the experience to understand that if we don't take time will be marginalizing those who are already marginalized so their voices have to be heard so we are including them in our concept and design of the program so that we give them the very best like everyone okay. and, and that, but also that, i know that yeah to mind uh, mission mission uh, 2016 sure. which is you know on weekends friday Saturday, and sunday during news 360 um, which also deals with issues of disability you know 24 years ago when i was in secondary school uh, there was a, a disabled child yeah. who had to be carried to the to the story it's building easy. The class was on celebrating. He was the only one disabled, and a friend had to carry had to carry him to class. Sure. Today, we did a story um, from Dubai where, where a disabled person is being carried to the classroom. Why don't you have accessibility? You understand? So these are the issues we're talking about. These are the things we want our politicians to begin to think about. We know that the moratorium for accessibility ends, you know, this year. What is happening? 
you know so uh, these things so pressure, are, pressure 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 issue, pressure, issues, pull issues, the issues, issues, to them. issues 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 and issues for the politicians to know that people don't just vote you don't you know I support hearts of work if they win I don't get anything I don't care but when I vote I want to get something interesting how do you think we can get that out of voters get uh, get that sort of response he's yeah. he's talking about you know when you support a team whether they lose or not no but when you vote you expect something else to happen to I you. think it all boils down to education so uh, the media we play our role in ensuring that we educate our, the the electorate the, the politicians who throw all sorts of things into the media space is our responsibility to see them weigh them and present to them the true facts that will help them make the decision so come elections uh, those who find themselves at the losing side will understand that that is the game of the, the, the day and so some lose some gain so all of these is also a responsibility that we uh, that don't forget that our reporters who go out to bring these stories live in the communities too all right. the things that uh, they hear people talk about affect them also so we're there with the, 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 the okay. people who watch us and listen to us and read our online stories and send us feedback and all. So our objective is to make sure that we present our programs, we embed into these things what, what I call social responsibility education. We are not going to let the politicians, you know, uh, free. we're going to put the microphones to them. Sure. They must give us answers. They must give us why they are promising this. How well, are they going to do how? that? Yes, that. So I we, think it's we, the how has always been we, the biggest. Yes, indeed. Big, biggest you know, so we, we're going to be very, very aggressive and fair you know, and, and balanced and all that and professional, but we demand answers because the people of Ghana need to know. All right, then. Thank you. Thank you very much. And But ju just so, I mean, before we go also, you know, you need to touch on the fact that we have a big, big research team behind and because the times, you know, people ask that, is there a fact-finding, you know, team that, you know, cross-check because, you know, the politician is talking, they throw things out there and people are wondering, is it true? Is it not true? Because then we leave, we leave it to the two. So what happened? Do we have a research we team? Have, we have researchers. We have a research, research team made up of people who are well-educated people. Who have, some have master's degree, mm -hmm. you know, in research and all that. So um, whatever you see, as people, you know, people see, they think that Bridget is all knowing. No, it's because of the researchers <laughs> who provide the information. That really? <laughs> <laughs> no, that's just true. That's just true. It's, it's actually true. No, it's true. It's true. No, importance of, you know, having the research team to the making a presenter look really good, actually very brilliant. Yeah, That's what they do. You see, we're not just, <laughs> we're, we're putting we're together a research team that yeah. isn't only, uh, it's not only our people sitting here in yeah. the office. There are uh, think tanks and experts in particular areas of data collection, which uh, when we don't have the comp uh, competences, they have. And then they will bring them all on board to be sure that what we do is absolute quality. Okay. When does the key point start and eye on the seats and then uh, um, oh, Constituency Link, we're already airing it. So, key points, eye on the seats. Eye on the seats, I'm starting with you. Eye on the seats, uh, we're hoping to start rolling out uh, Sunday. What time? And uh, it's going to be in the then? evening, 6 p.m. Uh, we'll PM. have an hour. So, it's going to be an hour, and we're, we're still fine tuning our mating additions so that we'll bring the very best. So Oh, and rest assured, we have some top, top presenters. You'll see, of course, you've already met uh, Winston Amwa from Radio 3 FM. He's a morning show host. He'll be handling key points. So, be very rest assured. He has experience when it comes to election coverage and, of course, beyond elections, you know, the issues that matter to the people, those that, you know, who queue for hours to vote, to cast their ballot. Yes, final one. Okay, for, so, uh, uh, Constitution Link, uh, yes. you know, Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays on Media Live, but as we get close to the election, it's, it will be uh, um, daily. Okay. Uh, tomorrow, we're going to feature Shama Constituency. Interesting. Tom has been there, mm -hmm. so that's what we're going to feature tomorrow on Media Live. All right, yeah. then. Let me say a big thank you to Abraham Asari, head political desk uh, programs and also uh, producer for the constituency link. And also Stephen Ante, I on the seat producer, and his uncle, of course, you see him on the telly. Thank you both very thank much. You, uh, you can follow him. It's Stephen Ante TV3. That's your handle. Yes, please. I'm yes. TV3. Are you on Twitter or Facebook? Uh, I'm on Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> I'm oh, star, sorry. Uh, Abraham, uh, Twitter. No, it's, uh, it's, you know, Twitter. if you're starting, you can say Twitter. Please Twitter. If you, if you become, uh, uh, you know, you've, uh, no, a, a little bit, you can say Twitter. But if you're a savvy, Twitter. Twitter. Yeah. Okay. So we're taking, it's, uh, you're watching us, Election Command Center, our election coverage, and we dare say we are the election specialist. Well, if you, if you can disprove that, please, you're welcome to do so, but you can't. So we are the election specialist. We're